We'll guide you through how to allow Java through the Windows firewall for Minecraft servers. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This can be a really annoying problem because otherwise people can't go and join it as the server can't go and get through it. So let's go and get started with this. First of all, you want to come down to the bottom of your computer and go and tap on the search and you want to go and type in control panel like so. Go to the top here and tap on system and security and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. You need to go over to the left and click on Advanced Settings, and here we are. So you want to go to the top left again and come into Inbound Rules to start with and go and scroll down. And what we're looking for is Java. As you can see, I've got a few options here. You may have more than me or less, it doesn't matter. If you don't, we'll cover that in a moment. Now what you need to do is make sure these are all enabled. If the green tick is missing, go and select it and you can then come over to the right here and click on enable rule. If you go and see any with the red symbol with the line through it like so, all you need to do is go and click on it and come over to the right and tap on properties and select allow the connection. Then you can click apply and press OK and repeat that for any of them there which either don't have the green icon or have that red uh, disable icon. Before we get any further, I want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to Minecraft server host and it saves you from having to host it on your own computer as I'll host it for you. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. They're definitely worth checking out. There'll be a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. If we scroll down, we can check out some of their awesome features like 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help anytime you need it, instant setup, one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, and much more as well. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and make sure you check them out if you need a server. Now to get into the next method. So as I said, if you don't have any options for Java here, what you need to do is go to the top right into inbound rules and you can click on new rule. And what we can do is select program, press next. We need to choose the program. So you want to go over to the right and click on browse. And you, what you need to do is go and click on this PC over to the left. You may need to scroll up or down to find this. Come into your local disk and you want to go and find program files. Now go and scroll down and you want to go and locate Java, double click on it. And you want to go and find Java, which is J-R-E, this option here. Then go into bin and what you want to do is go and allow java.exe, like so. Select that and press open. Press next, click on allow the connection. Make sure these are all selected, press next. And you can then go and name it. I'll name it allow Java and press finish. And now you need to repeat that again. Go to the top right and click on new rule and you'll get this pop up. Select program and click next. For the program path, click browse. And this time you want to go and select java.w.exe. Then you can go and click open and we can press next, allow the connection, make sure these are all selected, press next. And we can then go and name this again. Press finish and then what you should try doing is seeing if the problem is now solved. Hopefully it is. 